I'm just a graphic designer, yeah. That's that's all. That's my profession. And uh, and I'm a teacher too, so. And the rest I'm enjoying my life. <laughs> that's my profession too. To have a good life. <laughs> Founder of a design studio in Germany named Hort. Hort is a typical old, typical German word for kindergarten, and uh, I think the name fits very well to the studio. And we we used to play a lot. The way we work is very playful, but it's on the other side, it's very very professional. So by playing, we come up with um, professional solutions for 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 problems. And I was more interested in, uh, in science. I was more interested in finding out new shapes and trying to experiment with graphic design. And I think that's how you come to uh, new styles or however you name it, you know. I never wanted to put a style on a job. There's a job and there's a description, a brief, and I have to follow the brief and I have to come to a good concept. And from this concept, the style is developing. We always think first uh, of, uh, it, it needs to be uh, functional, it needs to be uh, a very good solution for the client. And the last thing is, it should look very good. I always want to do something different I did before. That makes it interesting for me, and this is my motivation to go to work, is always find out new things and uh, try to come up with something that I uh, never expected in myself. And I'm letting all the people who work at Ford, I, I'm letting them go. And this is very important for me, that they're not following my, my way. They're not clones of, of, of me. They always add their own personality to the job. That makes our work maybe sometimes special because um, it's not just one person it's sometimes it's ten persons that there was a moment in my life where I found out that that I have limited skills you know and this is a hard moment for a graphic designer I think for everyone that you are not able to do special things first I got really frustrated about this and after a while reflecting on this problem on this personal problem I found out that it's a this is just a big freedom behind saying okay I'm gonna work with other people who maybe do it and who are maybe professionals and, and super in in whatever you know so I just opened myself and now I love to work in a team and everyone at heart is a team player I support them uh, I always tell them, um, every new job, I always tell them, please surprise me. And I think it's, a, it's, like, it's like Christmas. Every day is like Christmas for me, you know. They give me something and I open this present and I'm really surprised about it. And I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. We share ideas and we're not afraid of sharing ideas. This is often a big problem that people are afraid of uh, um, telling your ideas to someone else and maybe because you think he maybe steals it or we are a group, you know? There's no one who steals anything. We want to do something together, so yeah. What was the question? <laughs> yeah. Our human life is, is full of little errors. And in the computer there's no there's not an error. And I like when things are not really absolutely mathematically perfect, you know? I like when, it's, when it's, there's a little error in it or something like this, you know? And because I think that these little errors are talking to us. And the funny thing is when you work by hand, people are coming and, and talking to you and speaking with you. But when you work on a computer, people don't do it. But when you're cutting something and gluing and, and uh, a spray can, whatever, you know, everyone is inviting, what are you doing? Oh, let me see. Oh, maybe you, you should turn the spray can around. It's a much better thing. Look, look. And, you know, and people interact more with each other. Yeah? And on a computer, you can't. You can't go to 
someone's computer mouse, you know, and take the hand and see, it's better like this. You know? <laughs> but in the end, we, we work on the computer. So, so for me, computer is just a tool. It's just, it's, it's, like, it's like a brush, like a, a knife. You, you should use it when you have to use it. You have to use this, right? And uh, it's funny because the, the first computer I had was an Apple Macintosh 2, I think. And it had 64 uh, megabyte RAM. It was super slow. And everything I wanted to do in Photoshop, like turn around an image, it was a decision. So I had to make this decision. I'm gonna turn around this image now for 45 degrees because I knew it will take you five minutes to do it. So it was really, you, you, you had to think about pushing this button, you know? Right now you can do it like and you don't think about it anymore. Yeah? Uh, designing is something that is, um, is not happening by just doing, it's happening by thinking about it. Use your hands is something, we shouldn't reduce it to, to like the mouse, you know? Or headphones on. At the same time, uh, uh, chatting with uh, 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 Facebook and whatever. You know that I was a gymnast. I was a professional gymnast until I was 17. I don't look like this anymore. Yeah? I'm not doing any sports anymore. Okay, next question please. <laughs>